Now let's learn how to use Vision Assistant to read QR codes. I'm going to begin by acquiring some images of several different QR codes that I've printed out. I'll be using the webcam that's connected to my computer, but you can also access the webcam connected to your NI My Rio if it's attached. I'll select the LifeCam Studio and select 1280 by 720. And I'll present the first QR code and then click here to capture that image into the browser. I'm presenting various QR codes, also looking at different rotations. As we will see, the QR barcode reader is fairly robust. It can handle different rotation angles, different scale factors. Works pretty well. Let's look at the 2D barcode reader step and select QR code. This step is throwing an error and says that only grayscale images will work. Let's come back and extract the luminance plane from this color image. That will give us our grayscale image. Come back to the reader step. And again, select QR code. And when you have success, it indicates the data that was extracted from the code. In this case, it's a website, ni.com slash vision slash applications. Let's try some of these other QR codes. Here's ni.com slash myreo. You'll see the red box highlighting the QR code when it successfully reads that code. Here's another one, qrcode.com. You can find full specifications for the QR code at that site. Now I'm looking at different rotation angles for the same QR code for ni.com. And again, in every case, we see it works just fine. Now you can adjust and fine tune the settings if you like. Most of these by default are on auto detect but you can get CPU improvements if you can pin these down for specific QR codes that you'll be using. However, you need to look at the highlighted code red box down there and use that as your guide to know whether or not you should be using auto detect or if you've properly selected the manual procedures.